Hello everyone, welcome to the Impact Play. My name is Mohammed, otherwise known as It's Your Go, and I am your host and producer on the Ones and Twos, and we are your one-stop shop for the news, discussions, and reviews around gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, esports, and music. We're also keen on uplifting voices and even highlighting their stories. This work keeps the lights running and keeps that content coming. You can, support, you can support us over on Discord, where you can get access to some exclusive content, including a not free version of the show, a whole lot of content before everyone else, and so much more. Plus, we are also Epic Partners, so every purchase you make within the Epic Store, whether it be Rag League, Fortnite, Fall Guys, and more, no matter what you play or how you play, even if it's a free to play title, we use that credit code, the Impact Play, we do get a commission and help support us in a brand new way, and no extra cost to you. Once again, that you're all, that credit code is the Impact Play. So be sure to use that credit code whenever you're buying anything in Fortnite, Fall Guys, no matter, uh, even if it's a, fr uh, a free to play title. It'll definitely go a long way and support us. But this episode of the Impact Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, me and the team will tell you about that later. This is the Impact Play Reviewcast, episode 288, where we are reviewing the final season end of Velma. So stay tuned and enjoy! You can sign up for your free 30 day trial and immediately get access to one credit. If you have Amazon Prime, you get access to two credits and it's good for any premium title. Simply go to well, audibletrial.com backslash the impact play. Once again, the URL is audibletrial.com backslash the impact play. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring this episode of the impact play. Alrighty, folks, it's finally time. Velma has finally come to an end. I, like, I literally forced myself to watch the end of the season. And as soon as I found out the episode, I believe it was episode 10, was the final season, I was so relieved. I was so happy that it's done. But we're, we're going to discuss all my nitpicks with it, of course. Uh, my hot takes, uh, of course. Hopefully, there won't be a season 2 and more. But nonetheless... Uh, this was one of the worst shows ever. And it, and instead, I've said this plenty of times before, but I'll say this once again. Velma was meant, was intended to stand on its own. Hold on, let's do this again. Velma was intended to stand on its own two feet, but instead, instead of being on its own show, it was forcefully incorporating the Scooby Doo franchise, a uh, tidbit of it. In a way that that was was forced and didn't make sense, so that's why this was one of the worst shows ever. But nonetheless, it, it is one of the worst shows ever, and I guess we'll get into the spoilery uh, discussions as well. So literally, we all well up to now we know that Velma and Daphne. Uh, have a sort of relationship with a it's, it's sort of a love triangle and then with Norval onto the mix because as and and then the like and then Velma mysteriously finds her mom a lot locked and uh apparently she was in the lab recreating uh Norval's grandmother's experiments but yet they were in the lab multiple times, and she wasn't there, so... How the heck does that make any sense? And not just that, they found her, and apparently... Velma out of nowhere makes the wild connection that Fred's mom was behind it all. Out of nowhere. And then not just that, it was uh, as... Uh, uh, she was supposedly the serial killer behind all this. She happened to entice Fred's dad into marrying her. Uh, she she, uh, she, happened, she apparently hypnotized uh, Velma's mom into committing these murders. And like it doesn't make any sense. And the way they they forcefully made us wait for, for the mysterious reveal that she committed the murders. I'm like, okay, you could have easily said that. Or I don't remember. All of a sudden, you don't, you, don't, you don't remember. Okay, say she doesn't remember. That's fine. That, that kind of makes sense. She was hypnotized, right? What about these three brains that they found out of these hot girls, supposedly, which doesn't make sense. They found them in these 
weird jars that they and and, and speakers where they could talk. Okay, okay, it, it's like oh, I mean, it's a cartoon. Okay, that's fine. Cartoon logic. Okay, so, so you could, these brains of these three hot girls that were murdered, they could easily said who it was instead of that big suspense that it was Velma's mom at the end and then on the next episode in episode 10 the final episode we find out that it was Fred's mom behind all this I'm like and then and then it was funny at the end they kind of brought back the mystery machine which I'll show you guys momentarily hold on um I don't know. Hold on, let's do this live for you folks. Uh, give me a second. Um, let me show you what I'm looking at for all you, all of you audio owning listeners. You are definitely missing out if you're coming, if you aren't coming back to check out the VOD later on Spotify or on our YouTube channel, so youtube.com backslash the impact play. Okay, there we are. Hold on, let me see something. Uh, I want to see something. Uh, capture client area. Hmm. Uh, okay. Alrighty, there we are. And then we're going to put uh, Velma. Mystery machine. Okay, let me get rid of these ads. That's where you can see it. Apparently, that's the mystery machine. That Velma's uh, mom, mom, she had a, a secret van outside of, the, of of apparently the lab, which out of nowhere, she had it there, but yet she couldn't make an escape uh, in two years' time, right? If she, if she had that hiding. So and I told you, this show doesn't... Forget about the tidbits from... From the Scooby Doo forceful, you know, being forced into the show, but yet there, this doesn't make any sense. Suppose she had a getaway vehicle in order to, edit, or she's in an escape vehicle, escape pilot, whatever you want to call it, but yet she couldn't escape all this time, right? Until Velma found her, surprisingly. Uh, like, like I, like literally, I just, there's nothing that is wrong. There's nothing that is right with the show. And then, and then uh, the way her mom was just trying to get away. Oh, the mystery. And then, and then the way they, they, I thought they forced these little tidbits into the show. And then she just gave this random name. And then, then hold on, let me show you. Let me show you what Fred uh, uh, wrote on it. Hold on. I'll put an image in new tab. Gal, Fred Jones, sco uh, spooky stuff hunter. I, I love, I like, I, this show is so bad and so wrong in so many ways. <sighs> Velma, season two. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that there is no season two. You're kidding me. Wait a minute, hold on. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Multiple sources. Overly negative reviews. They have not officially announced the season room or Renewal by deadline. Let's see what the report. Um, I mean, I don't want to force season two. Hold on, let me do it this way. Velma. Let's go up. Okay, hold on. Up next, uh, third season. Working on a second season. And all the adult animated. 
Apparently it says here that it's gonna be a second season. Like why? Like I, I was finally happy that I finally got fin finished it. Get out of the way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's re we're reading this live uh, for the first time. Also, uh, well, not really live, but as we're recording. So it's like a live reaction. First time insight, I should say. Uh, collider. That production is already underway, but it doesn't mean that it, that it still might be produced, even though the production is underway. So it's not really an, an official official. But hopefully, in, in, in God's name, that this there won't be a season two. Yeah. So it hasn't been officially renewed. So there might be ch uh, there might be a chance that it won't be renewed. Um, it might not. It, it won't go through. I hope. I hope. I hope that I won't go through. The show is so bad. It's so horrible in so many ways. Here, hold on. I'm gonna go to IMDb now. Let's see, IMDb. Uh, let's see. Is this one? No, that's us. Um, let's see, it's for Velma. IMDb. <laughs> what? I, I gotta show you this. Hold on. I gotta show you this. 1.5 out of a 10. <laughs> uh, oh wow what should we give it we'll give it a 4 out of 10 for the entire season. So on the Ampliplay scale, it's going to be half, so it's going to be 2 out of a 5. This show is horrible in so many ways. Like, seriously. Is horrible in so many ways. Nope. Submit. Oh, I gotta uh, put a review too. That's what this was. At least 600? You're kidding me. Alright, screw it. <laughs> Ain't dabbing this all up. Alright. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, I didn't want it to do. That's what happens when you're a one-man production team. Uh, as well as host of the show. But nonetheless, I would definitely, definitely not recommend anyone to watch the show. No one. This show is beyond horrible. It's a whole mess. Like, I, I told you, I gave it a chance before the first half. But otherwise, they started forcefully incorporating the Scooby-Doo franchise into the show. Even though it's supposed to stand on its own two feet, they forcefully f forced those, you know, Scooby-Doo with these terms and all, all the stuff in, in, in the show and the mix to mix it into into the show. Like, it, and it doesn't even make sense for it to be in, in these things in, in the show. So I feel like we're gonna we're gonna they're gonna do a season two is probably bring Scooby-Doo in some form or fashion. But well, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully there will not be a season two. So I guess I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review, my uh, hot takes on the on uh, the season uh, end of Velma. I hope you guys, if you guys did enjoy that, if you guys listened to us on Spotify, 
Uh, there will be a question following each and every episode. They will ask you for your thoughts, your questions for this episode. And also, uh, you could also send us a couple. You have a, a couple other options to do to do so. To give us feedback. Leaving an email to readymail at the mpplay.com via Discord. Or even leaving a voice note over at anchor.fm backslash the play. You can even tag us on social at the play. And uh, your feedback will either be played live or read live here on the show. And please keep in mind that uh, our supporters will get this uh, this review first. After the exclusivity window does uh, expire, this will be available to everyone on youtube.com backslash the play, as well as podcast services around the globe. So your favorite podcast platform, whether it be Spotify, Google Podcast, Apple Music, Amazon Music, no matter where you, uh, no matter how, wherever you consume your content or however you consume it, we are there. So be sure to check out our live recording of the MMA play, where we record uh, usually on Sundays at twitch.tv backslash the MMA play, as well as youtube.com backslash the play. Subscribe, follow us there, do that, all that good stuff, follow us on socials, uh, and then I guess that's about it. So also be sure to follow its team impact on Twitter, which I'll sh- actually, the best thing to do it is, hold on, give me a second. Okay. Let me show you this live. Okay, um, let's see. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Hold on. That was the doc. That's the doc that I usually do to read the shows. Um, window. Let me change it to this. No, that's not it. Uh, move tab. That's it. Okay. Okay, there we are. No biggie. Um, uh, oh, yeah. It's teamimpact.com, which is a subset of the Empire Play. So, I was born in Atlanta, of course, because we're in Atlanta, powered by the Empire Play. You can follow us on social. We have a Discord, or a special server for it. It's Team Impact. We're on Instagram, Twitter, all the socials. Uh, check us out. Let me show you a glimpse. Show you Twitter. Show you Instagram. It's Team Impact. It's Team Impact. And yeah, follow us everywhere. Because it has its own uh, channels as well. So I'll be sure to include that in the show notes as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being with us in our three years plus in. And also, please keep in mind, there will be a lot more reviews coming your way soon. We have a lot of games that we are currently in, uh, reviewing now. Uh, we have lots of us that we're still trying to catch up with as well. So we have a lot of content in the works. So uh, be on the lookout for that content coming your way soon. Have a good one. And until next time, folks. <laughs>